we have here, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> we have here Daniel Zook, and we are just thrilled to have you, Mr. Zook. Thank you for being here. I'm um, glad can, to you be here. can you introduce yourself to us, please? Um, I am Daniel Zook. I'm 34. Um, originally from Southern Virginia, got a, a BFA at George Mason University with a business management degree. Um, and just been dancing and surviving on the dancer paycheck since then. <laughs> I was so thrilled to see your video on social media with the hashtag Dance Lansing 2020. And I didn't know you previously, and I don't think you've participated in Dance Lansing before. It was thrilling to see that. And can you tell us about how, why you decided to use that hashtag for your video? Um, blame it on the quarantine or the fact that I have too many plants in my house at this time, but I've been just researching uh, the dance community other than Detroit uh, here in Michigan and came across Lansing uh, and saw that you were doing this hashtag Lansing dances. And I think it's so important during this time to keep dancing. Uh, so I made a challenge for myself. I would do a five minute improv in a cute, beautiful location around my yard because uh, we were quarantined, but made that challenge every day for myself and re would record it and no stopping uh, and hope that somebody would see it. <laughs> yeah, we saw it and we're all gonna, if you are tuning into this during the watch party on July 31st after we finish talking with Mr. Zook, we will watch the dance. Do you have a title for the particular piece that, that we saw? I, okay. Just now came to me, stumped. That's kind of hard. Because <laughs> there's, there's um, I found it hard to when I, when we weren't allowed in the studios, to dance. There's this uh, comfortability that we got with having a mirror, having Marley down, you know, maybe a little fan blowing. Uh, but it was hard to start dancing again after all this went down. So I, a stump's a good place to start. I did a fence one too. It's a dilapidated fence. Next might be the roof of my house if I don't get out of here soon. <laughs> you can't stop the artist. <laughs> yeah. You can take the artist out of the studio, but you can't take the studio out of the artist. Yeah. So, well, thank you again. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I mean, um, you you come to this from you you've been a professional dancer with Keith Thompson's company. You've worked with Liz Lerman. Is there anything else you want to add about your life as a dancer and coming to Michigan? Um, well, it's, it's, to be honest, it's slowed down, which has been a good thing. Um, I've gotten to kind of like hone my craft a little bit of what I expect out of a technique class and stuff. Uh, but I wish we would merge together more. And especially, I think in this time where I feel like dancers, artists can really heal what's going on um, and help these people who are stuck in their houses somehow, I, I, if we have to keep dancing, whether that be on Zoom or that be outside on a sidewalk so people can see that. Uh, I think it's good to keep showing art through this time and Though we might not get money for it, at least we are healing a part of this, this world right now. Is that good? That's great. Daniel, thank you so much. And we look forward to working with you more in the future. All right. Thank you.